Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. The lowly servant here. Welcome to my channel. Today is November 15, 2021, Monday of the 33rd week in Ordinary Time. The Gospel said, What do you want me to do for you? He replied, Lord, please let me see. Let's have a listen and reflect on it after. But first. The first reading is from the first book of Maccabees. From the descendants of Alexander's officers there sprang a sinful offshoot, Antiochus Epiphanes. Son of King Antiochus, once a hostage at Rome. He became king in the year 137. Of the kingdom of the Greeks. In those days there appeared in Israel, men who were breakers of the law. And they seduced many people, saying, let us go and make an alliance with the Gentiles all around us. Since we separated from them, many evils have come upon us. The proposal was agreeable. Some from among the people promptly went to the king. And he authorized them to introduce the way of living. Of the Gentiles. Thereupon they built a gymnasium in Jerusalem. According to the Gentile custom. They covered over the mark of their circumcision. And abandoned the Holy Covenant. They allied themselves with the Gentiles and sold themselves to wrongdoing. Then the king wrote to his whole kingdom that all should be one people, each abandoning his particular customs. All the Gentiles conformed to the command of the king, and many children of Israel were in favor of his religion. They sacrificed to idols and profaned the Sabbath. On the fifteenth day of the month Chisulf, in the year 145, the king erected the horrible abomination upon the altar of burnt offerings. And in the surrounding cities of Judah they built pagan altars. They also burned incense at the doors of the houses and in the streets. Any scrolls of the law which they found they tore up and burnt. Whoever was found with a scroll of the covenant, and whoever observed the law, was condemned to death by royal decree. But many in Israel were determined and resolved in their hearts not to eat anything unclean. They preferred to die rather than to be defiled with unclean food, or to profane the holy covenant, and they did die. Terrible affliction was upon Israel. Responsorial Psalm Give me life, O Lord, and I will do your commands. Indignation seizes me because of the wicked, who forsake your law. Give me life, O Lord, and I will do your commands. Though the snares of the wicked are twined about me, your law I have not forgotten. Give me life, O Lord, and I will do your commands. Redeem me from the oppression of men, that I may keep your precepts. Give me life, O Lord, and I will do your commands. I am attacked by malicious persecutors, who are far from your law. Give me life, O Lord, and I will do your commands. Far from sinners is salvation, because they seek not your statutes. Give me life, O Lord, and I will do your commands. I beheld the apostates with loathing, because they kept not to your promise. Give me life, O Lord, and I will do your commands. Alleluia, Alleluia. I am the light of the world, says the Lord, whoever follows me will have the light of life. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Gospel according to Luke. As Jesus approached Jericho a blind man was sitting by the roadside begging, and hearing a crowd going by, he inquired what was happening. They told him, Jesus of Nazareth is passing by. He shouted, Jesus, son of David, have pity on me. The people walking in front rebuked him, telling him to be silent, but he kept calling out all the more, son of David, have pity on me. Then Jesus stopped and ordered that he be brought to him, and when he came near, Jesus asked him, what do you want me to do for you? He replied, Lord, please let me see. Jesus told him, Have sight, your faith has saved you. He immediately received his sight and followed him, giving glory to God. When they saw this, all the people gave praise to God. Reflections Lord, that I may see, was the simple request of the blind man in today's gospel. This is a prayer needed more urgently than ever in our day, for nothing describes better than blindness the indifference to God of people in our day. Sin and the quest for wealth and power have blinded us to things of more importance and value than those we spend our lives seeking. Today, in our selfishness, 
We have become blind to the needs and sufferings of our neighbors, blind to the pain our actions and inaction cause others. Ultimately, we have become blind to God and nothing can be worse than this. Like the blind man, we therefore need to call out to Him who alone has the power to make us see again. Many voices and forces try to shut us up, but He will hear us still. That's the end of the reflection from the Catholic Missal. Subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell, so you won't miss out on my next upload. Be safe and always keep God in your hearts. Peace to all.